Yeah, that's us uh, just heading into Clyde Bank to the GTPA uh, for our second episode. I'm going to get uh, an interview with Big Shoot Allen MC. Uh, a lot of people will know him. And uh, the rest of the reality boys will be there. It's good to see what everybody's up to. That's <laughs> us. <laughs> I'm waiting that man. Sam, welcome to Fight Talk. How are you doing, big man? I'm not too bad. So welcome to GTB Gym in Glasgow. Yeah. Just want to cover a wee bit just about yourself for the fans at home that don't know anything about you. You're two-time world champion. You've got the WKA and the ISKA titles um, at light welterweight. First man in the history of the two organisations to unify these titles. You took the first one in France. Uh, do you tell us just a wee bit about that one? I'd won the British European title, Scotty. I'd won all the titles at, at domestic level. And the next step was going to be world title. It was Christmas New Year, sitting through enjoying it myself as you do. And the phone call came in, get a world champion in France, looking for a defence. And the first thing I say is, aye, let's, we're, we're fighting. And he says, uh, you know what, Martin? No, I know how much money you're getting paid. Terms, and no, I says, I'm fighting. I'm fighting that world title, I'm winning the world title. Obviously, we went earlier, first couple of rounds, nice and easy, just getting a feel, and then the third round, uh, sat down, sat Scott's lad eight, set him up, fit the jab, go to the left hook, he'll, he'll dip down, go to the right leg, turn and get. And uh, I did, and that was, he was sleeping, I think he's still sleeping, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he, he was out. The referee didn't know what to do, he's, he's looking about, he's a, that's not meant to happen, he's a hometown hero here, he's not meant to be on his, his ass. I'm holding a spell on the plane, everybody's looking at me. <laughs> you know, it still, it still didn't hit me. When I come back home, my mum threw a wee party and then I was like, I've done it man, I've, I've won the world title. Now your connection to the WK in Scotland is well known. So the WK title must have been a particularly special one for you. The WK, it was, it was just it was that title, that's the title I wanted to win. Uh, and when I got the chance to fight Bobby Campbell for America, it was like, Wow, I'm, I'm actually fighting the, the WK World Champion in my hometown for the WK World title. It was, you know, I was in cloud nine for the fight, the fight get made. I was in cloud nine. I just, I couldn't wait to actually get in there and just fight my heart out for the, the WK World title. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't wait for it. How are you feeling about your first K1 fight? How's your training changed up from that? A lot of people ask me that. Uh, are you kicking different? Are you, what are you doing different? You know, I've been kicking since I was five years old. I'm not going to change the way I'm kicking. You know, a kick's a kick. You say maybe a, a primary kid going out of high school. You know, it's something new, but it's something you've already done for years. So it's like it's just it's just a transition, and that's what it is. Uh, the transition we mean Scott when walking in the gym. Uh, and I might I mean take a, a fight or two to get used to, but it's all part and parcel of the sport and the transition to get to my, my end goal, which I believe that's where I'll go. It's this new concept with the Fighters series uh, and Vinnie McWilliams' management is very much raising the profile uh, of the Fighters. You bring with you quite a large following anyway. Are these people ready for the next step? Are these guys ready for the uh, for the following year into K1 and hopefully into the likes of Glory, Super Combat? I, I, I believe they are, aye. Uh, without, without the fans in the sport, you can't really do much. You know, you can be a really good fighter. So if you don't bring a fan base, if you don't get the, the people in to see you, you're not going to get opportunities. So obviously the whole new the Fight of Reality series is, is bringing these opportunities, you know. Uh, the fans are getting to see what the fighters are like with episodes and stuff. And uh, that will just bring me in. We want the people that do come to now, want to bring their pals, to bring their pals, to bring their pals, you know. Before you know what, we're selling at Brayhead Arena and Glory and K1, they come to Glasgow, you know, that's, that's what we're all after. Top of the tree and Glory, that's, a, that, that's my goal and that's where I'm going to go. I'm not going to go, I'm going to, I'm not going anywhere until I get there. Uh, I, I see myself, that's where I see myself. Uh, headlining shows, big massive shows in Glory, you know, all over the world. Look, the, the next time I speak to you is going to be at Ringside on the 20th of March at ESU in Wishaw. Yeah. Sam, the best of luck. Uh, I hope I'm speaking to the, the, the man with the W uh, at the end I of it. Be. I, I will be. be. I will be. Uh, and good luck uh, in your career. And I hope you, you get all the way to, to glory. Thanks very much for joining us, Sam. Cheers. Magic.